A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a significant shift in the landscape of British political journalism, former Conservative government minister Michael Gove has been appointed as the new editor of The Spectator magazine. This comes on the heels of the magazine's acquisition by hedge fund tycoon Sir Paul Marshall, who is also known for his backing of GB News. Gove's appointment is set to take effect from the start of October, marking a new chapter for the influential publication that has been a staple of political discourse since its establishment in 1828. Freddie Sayers, the publisher of The Spectator and chief executive of the new ownership group OQS Media, announced Gove's appointment, stating that he is perfectly suited to the role. This endorsement is backed by Gove's extensive background in journalism, having worked as a reporter before entering the political arena. Gove, who represented Surrey Heath in Parliament since 2005, has held various high-profile positions in government, including Secretary of State for Education and Secretary of State for Leveling Up. His political career has seen him serve under four different prime ministers, David Cameron, Theresa May, Boris Johnson, and Rishi Sunak. He stepped down from Parliament following the recent general election, amidst a wave of resignations from Conservative MPs. The Spectator, often referred to as the Bible of the Right, is one of the oldest political magazines in the world and has been known for its influential commentary on current affairs. Gove's ascension to the editorial role comes as the Conservative Party is preparing for a leadership contest, which adds a layer of intrigue to his appointment. Fraser Nelson, the outgoing editor who has led The Spectator for 15 years, will transition to the role of associate editor while continuing to contribute articles. In a farewell message, Nelson praised Gove as the clear successor, emphasizing his journalistic prowess and the quality of the team surrounding him. The sale of The Spectator to Sir Paul Marshall for £100 million marks a significant moment in British media, especially following the failed bid by an Abu Dhabi-backed consortium earlier this year. This previous bid was thwarted by government intervention, which led to new legislation aimed at preventing foreign states from owning UK newspapers. Marshall's acquisition signals a new era for The Spectator, with ambitions to expand its reach and influence. In his statement, Sayers highlighted the unique qualifications Gove brings to the role, citing his rare breadth of intellectual interests and depth of journalistic experience. He noted Gove's passion for literature, philosophy, art, and opera, coupled with a mischievous sense of humor, which he believes will resonate with the magazine's audience. As Gove prepares to take the reins, he faces the challenge of maintaining the spectator's legacy while also steering it towards a future that aligns with the evolving political landscape in the UK. His previous experience as a contributor to the magazine, where he has pinned various opinion pieces on politics and current affairs, positions him well to understand the publication's ethos and audience. The transition in leadership comes at a time when the media landscape is undergoing significant changes, with digital platforms increasingly dominating how news and commentary are consumed. Gove's background in journalism and politics may provide a unique perspective as he seeks to modernize and adapt The Spectator for contemporary readers. As the new editor, Gove will have the opportunity to shape the magazine's editorial direction, potentially influencing public opinion during a pivotal time for the Conservative Party. His tenure will likely be scrutinized as he navigates the complexities of political reporting in an era marked by polarization and rapid change. Meanwhile, the appointment of Charles Moore, a former editor of The Spectator, as the non-executive chairman adds another layer of experience to the magazine's leadership. Moore's role will focus on safeguarding the publication's editorial independence, a crucial aspect as it transitions under new ownership. In conclusion, Michael Gove's appointment as editor of The Spectator represents a significant development in British political journalism. With his extensive background in both journalism and politics, Gove is poised to lead the magazine into a new era while upholding its rich tradition of insightful commentary and analysis. As he prepares to take on this influential role, the political landscape will undoubtedly be watching closely to see how he shapes The Spectator's future. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.